New complaints have been filed with the state medical board against a Texas spine surgeon. More former patients are reporting that the doctor they trusted ruined their backs and their lives. Brett Ship broke the story last May. He joins us tonight with an update. Brett? John, since our investigation first aired, more former patients of Dr. Stephen Courtney have emerged to tell their stories of failed back surgeries and the pain they live with every day. Tonight, News 8 investigates. As I'm a licensed realtor, and I have been since uh, 1990. And at 84 years old, June Ferbstein of McKinney says she still works, just not showing houses. That's because she's wheelchair bound and in constant pain since her first back surgery in 2011. According to her complaint filed with the Texas Medical Board, that's when Dr. Stephen Courtney of Plano first put five levels of hardware in her back to relieve her pain. She says a year later, Courtney operated again, this time inserting a surgical device made by his own company. Courtney labeled that device the boa constrictor. When he put all of this first titanium in, I think that's what did the majority of the damage. Ferbstein says her eyes were opened by our investigation into Dr. Courtney last May. But it touched me to the point where I felt that I had to come forward. In our first report, we told you about three former patients suing Dr. Courtney. Two of them claim Courtney performed repeated operations using his own devices, one called the Python, in alleged violation of FDA standards. Another lawsuit was filed by the family of Stephen Pennington of Roy City. Pennington died during a back surgery two years ago. His family is suing Courtney. Because he needs to be stopped. He really needs to be stopped. Now other former patients are contacting News 8. Former Plano resident Terry Baker sued Courtney in 2003, alleging he operated on her back three times in nine months. During one surgery, according to the suit, he placed a surgical screw in the wrong bone, causing additional injury. My pain level is between a nine and a 10 every single day. Baker's lawsuit was dismissed because the statute of limitations had passed. But another former patient, Vicki Kirsch of Arizona, has also filed a complaint with the Texas Medical Board. The pain all the way from headaches, migraines, CVG headaches, all the way down to pain shooting down my arms and legs. She says Courtney performed five surgeries on her, including one fusion that failed, collapsing and causing more spinal cord damage. In April, a Mayo Clinic doctor recommended not touching the fusion as it is too dangerous given its location. I thought that this was rubbing up against my back. Barbara Gallagher says she used to be active and an avid outdoors person. She says her back operation in 2014 went so badly, Courtney reoperated, removing the plates and screws. In a complaint filed with the Texas Medical Board, Gallagher says her new doctor says the original fusion surgery should not have been performed. And then the metal should not have been removed because it left her back unstable. I'd just rather die at this point because I'm, I can't live with this pain. Dr. Courtney has not responded to our repeated requests for comment. His attorney responded in writing, calling Courtney one of the region's most respected and honored spinal surgeons with an exemplary record of success. He adds, we welcome review by the court and or the Texas Medical Board of Dr. Courtney's medical skills and approach to patient care based upon the evidence. We believe that proper review of Dr. Courtney's care and treatment will reveal he provided reasonable care and treatment. Still, Ferbstein and now others have filed complaints with the state, hoping someone could put a stop to the pain. There's really not much that can be done for me. I will never walk again. Dr. Courtney did ask all former patients for permission to discuss their cases with us, claiming personal privacy. All four of those patients declined. Brett Shipp, Channel 8 News.